good morning it's sunday over here um just getting up straightening my bedroom and we're about to do another what i eat in a day so um today i am going to head to costco to get some of my frozen fruits that i like to make smoothies with um i'm going to be juicing and then i'm going to show you a meal some of my snacks so if you want to see that make sure you stay tuned Here's the good news about my method. It doesn't require you to talk to yourself out loud like a crazy person or write long-winded stories about things that seem impossible to you. It's extremely flexible and easy to learn. It works and it works fast. big thing of carrots i'm gonna juice these this was a really good deal this was oh okay i don't know where my receipt is i want to say this was like six bucks don't quote me on that um, organic apples these was kind of high these was like almost 12 bucks Damn! i almost put them back then i got some organic mangoes this was a fairly good price. I want to say these was $5 for six. Got some spinach. I like to put this in my smoothies. And then my daughter has a bearded dragon, so she likes to give him spinach. Actually, this is a blend. This is baby chard, spinach, and baby kale. And then one of my favorite frozen fruit packs is the um, dragon fruit, mango, and passion fruit blend. You don't know until you try this, this fire. And then I've seen that they had these Green Goddess salad packs. Okay, so that's all I got from Costco. What do we get from the Asian grocery store? I got to put some of this stuff up. I got some oolong tea. I freaking love oolong tea. Um, some vegan mochis. These are yuzu or yuzo citrus. I don't know how to say that. Looks like this. The last ones I got was mango. You want to try these real quick? Yeah. Come here. And these are vegan and non-GMO. I'm going to try these real quick. The last ones I had that was matcha, they was pretty good. I got this, um sushi roller thing to help me make sushi don't 
buy it yet. We got to do it today. The dead has arisen. Okay, you ready? It's like a fresh citrusy. I think I like the matcha better, but we don't eat them. This little snack kind of pop. What's a nice little fresh? I already said that, but that's the only thing I think though. Oh my god, I'm freezing my tea. Next up, I got a bundle of mint to put in my um, spring rolls. I got some of this um, rice noodles. This is good and pho. And, and spring rolls as well. That's not on my raw vegan uh, list, but I do eat that. And then I got some of this Mexican squash. I got... I think of romaine lettuce. This is chicken for tonight's teriyaki chicken for my family. And then I got, look Ari. Yeah. I got some little dishes. Oh. And then I got these ones that you can put two different sauces in. Woo. Okay, like we like to make, you know, I would put our little sauces in little dishes, so I've been trying to collect those. I think that's it. Oh no, I got some sauces, which ain't nothing special. Got soy sauce. Get your soy sauce from the Asian grocery store, it's way cheaper. And sesame seed oil. And that's it. Okay, before I start cooking today's dinner, yeah, for the fam bam, I'm about to make me a smoothie so I don't be tempted to eat what they eat. I feel like it's very helpful and it keeps you feeling sustained where you can be like, nah, I'm good. But then be like, mm, I am kind of hungry. I might try that just a little bit when we're hurt. You know what I mean? So, um, I just got a Vitamix for Christmas. If you remember my last video, I had a ninja, which it did work well, but ain't nothing like a Vitamix, okay? So we're gonna do the whole bag of the dragon fruit mango passion fruit blend. And then I'm gonna add two bananas. My personal opinion and how I kind of live my life is I try to get mostly organic, you know, when my budget is right. And you know, that's what I strive to do, but sometimes I do get convinced, uh uh, not that banana string, I do get conventional fruit. And I try to stick to the dirty dozen rule. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but like if it has a softer skin, like your blueberries, strawberries, um, lettuce, and stuff like that, I try to always get those organic. Now, if they have a harder skin or a harder rind, like watermelon, oranges, lemons, you know, things like that, then sometimes I'll go conventional. But just rule of thumb, like you should always try to get organic, but if you can't, do the best that you can. That's all I say. Like starting a new journey, eating different, it's already hard enough. And then it's like, you gotta get all organic. And then you feel like, well, I ain't gonna make it because I can't afford it. You know what I mean? Just do what you can and then progress. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some water. Probably do about a cup of water. Okay. Oh, I forget one thing. Let me add some vegan protein powder. The kind I'm using is Sun Warriors Protein Vanilla. Uh, it is not my favorite. I know a lot of influencers like this kind, uh, influencers that are vegan, but I don't. It still tastes chalky to me and it doesn't have a great flavor. You know that's it when you get the bop in your head and your shoulders. 
So for my third meal, I'm gonna go and have one of these bags of salad. Um, I just got done cooking for my family and they've ate, I've gotten them taken care of. And so I wanna do something really quick and easy because after, you know, slaving over a meal, not really slaving, cooking for my family, um, I don't wanna do another meal for myself, not right now. So I'm gonna just do a bag of salad. That salad was just a little breaky break, snacky snack. So let's get on to the main part of my lunch. Um, I know you see a lot of green around here. I'm gonna call this, um, what can I call this? Healthy green zoodles. So what you're gonna need is three Mexican zucchinis or they also call these squash or you can do the regular zucchini, that's fine. You're going to need basil, you're gonna need some mint, and then I have okra for my other choice of vegetable, but you could also do like cherry tomatoes. That would make this uh, pasta really pretty. My friends fall in love to me, yeah, all around. I met you one night not long ago. Knew if I kept bumping into you, would fall like a domino. Love's a game, all is fair. If it's war, then I'll. Okay, let's try this out. I gotta make sure I get a little bit of okra in there some basil, a little bit of mint, and then my pumpkin seeds. Mm-hmm. Mmm! Whoa! I'm not lying to you. I am impressed. Let me not talk with my mouth full. Mmm! For a snack, I am about to enjoy some sweet tamarind. Looks like this when you get them from the Asian grocery store. These are really good for digestion. They help you release, if you know what I mean. Um, keep in mind that you want to look for sweet tamarind. They do have some sour ones, and I heard those aren't too enjoyable. Unless that's your thing. Some people like the, the sour flavor, but I always get the sweet ones. And... They come in like this pot, this semi-hard pot, um, and then you just kind of crack them open like you would do a peanut. And inside, they also have veins. And you just peel the veins. And the veins are attached to the pot, so it's easy to peel them off. Some Sometimes you have a little stragglers, you know. And then it's a very soft interior, but inside there are seeds, really hard seeds. So you gotta make sure you don't just go in crunching on these. It's just more of a, a suck and chew. But very sweet. Mm, the consistency reminds me of a Tootsie Roll, if you had it in a warm car. <laughs> like, you know, like how chocolate milks a little bit. That's, it's like a sticky Tootsie Roll. And the flavor, I don't know how to describe it. Mmm. Let me think about it. You went ahead and put one on your face. What's the picture of? It's a heart. Oh, okay. And that's the um, seed that's inside, and it's really hard. Listen. Oh, dang it. Oh. You hear that? It's like a little rock. 
Hmm? It's like a little rock. I ain't got one I'll see. Okay, I'm about to get to back to locking my hair up, I guess. Oh, you want help? Mm -mm. I don't want to. I'm just being hey. honest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they taste like. Ari, right, have you tried tamarind? Well, try a little bit so you can tell you can tell what it tastes like to you. Cause I can't put my finger on the flavor. It's sweet. Well, I don't know if it'll taste like right. What? We're gonna do some eyeliner. <laughs> but let's not You better not put no henna eyeliner on. Okay. Let me peel it off. And then I'm gonna just give you a little piece. Don't, don't bite it. No, not that little bit. It's not going to make you poop. Don't bite it because it has that hard seed in the middle. So kind of like suck and chew the flesh. Should take them forever. Texture is not recommendable. But... Oh. <laughs> My... Mm. Had a heart palpitation. Mind you, she's 16 years old, so she's very picky with food. Mm -hmm. What's the flavor? Like a plum, baby. A plum. Let me Google and see what tamarind is supposed to taste like because I can't, I can't describe it. They call it nature's candy. It has a sweet and sour taste. It does. Mm. They said it's similar to a tart citrus fruit. I don't know. It's just something you would have to experience for yourself. Yeah, I don't know. But I like them. They're a nice little snack to have instead of grabbing, you know, candy or some processed dessert that you know you shouldn't be having. And they're pretty inexpensive. And they last a few good weeks, at least for me, they have. Um, so, I mean, in like um, shelf life, storing it. six o'clock is when I stop eating just to help me be able to digest better and give my digestive system a break. Um, I like to have water with like an eighth of baking soda just to help my digestion a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully learn something from it. Eating raw does not have to be hard. It can be very simple. Just find the fruits and vegetables that you love and add on from there. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video.